Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and today I have Miss Lila with me. Good morning, Lila. Good morning. Lila doesn't have school today and we have just been so sick of being cooped up in the house the last couple weeks between traveling for the holidays, then our whole family had the flu for like a week and a half. Then we had some really crazy weather for Georgia. We had snow and gloom and cold. Today it's a beautiful sunny day and we woke up today and we're like, we just gotta go get motivated and do some things. And to be honest, there's a ton of errands I've been pushing off doing and we have to get them done. So today I thought I would take you guys along as we just do like a fun day of running around doing some shopping. Lila, are we gonna do some girl shopping today? Yeah. Yeah, shopping day. So um, we have a ton of errands to do. I have to drop some stuff off in the mail. We have to go to the bank. But then our main thing we have to get done is this child is growing so fast, I have to get her some new shoes. We've been like pushing it off and it is time. She has like one pair of shoes left and they're hanging on by a thread. I think we're gonna pop by Nordstrom Rack. I usually have good luck finding the Adidas shoes there for Lila and those are some of her favorites. They're really comfortable for her to run around and play in, but I also like them because they're a little bit cleaner looking with them being mostly white. They go with a lot of her outfits. I think maybe we're gonna go stop by the mall. The mall up here by us, we actually have not been to since we moved to the area. I I often will go back towards Atlanta if we're going to the mall just out of comfort. But we have a huge mall up by us and we've never been. I think there's like a play area that maybe Lila can get some playtime in at. Maybe we'll stop by and do a little girls lunch since it's a shopping day. So anyway, let's go go shopping, run some errands. All right, sis, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. My name is Sarah, Make it your name? Hi, this is Lauren. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Wonderful. What are we going to get started for you? Um, can I please get a grande sweet cream cold brew with two pumps of pistachio? The vanilla sweet cream cold brew with two pumps of pistachio or just a cold brew with? The vanilla sweet cream cold okay. brew with two pumps of pistachio. pistachio. Well, all right. Anything else? Uh, yes. Do you have any chocolate cake pops today? Ooh, let me look. I know we didn't have a ton. Oh, my God. Oh, they whispered in my ear and we do. I was holding it for you. Okay. Thanks. One chocolate cake pop. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. I know, they had your chocolate cake pop. Oh. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes! It's been a long time since you had a cake pop. What a day, what a treat. What a day, what a treat. Let me go park for a second. Cause Gigi tried calling as soon as we got up to pay. So hang on, let's park a park. Right here, folks there. Okay. Oh, bum, ba da bum, 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 bum. Wow. <laughs> Here's your cake pop, Bubba. Got it? I need to read it. Okay. Okay, so I got a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, but I asked for two pumps of pistachio in it. I love pistachio flavored things. Mmm. Okay. This is really good. If you like the sweet cream cold brew and you like pistachio, you like this, go figure. But the pistachio, it's like kind of subtle. It's not too in your face. It is sweet though. If you wanted to lighten this up, obviously this is not like a WW friendly drink. I didn't do any swaps with it. I didn't swap out for lower point milk or for sugar-free vanilla, which is what I normally do when I want to lighten up a coffee. But today is girl's day, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's girl's day. We're treating ourselves today. So this is just, a regular one. So I'm not 100% sure what the points are on this, but if you wanted to do something similar to this but lightened up, you could probably just ask for a iced cold brew coffee and then add a pump of the pistachio and then balance it with some pumps of the sugar-free vanilla. As a grande, I normally do four pumps total of any sweeteners, but this is also just perfect for what I wanted. Just a little coffee pick me up because to be honest, it's a lot later in the day than I thought it was gonna be when we headed out on these errands. I had grand ideas last night when I was planning today that we would be out the door by like 9.30 or 10 a.m. For some reason, I have no problem getting Lila to school at 9 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but goodness me, if I can get out of the house before 11 o'clock in the morning, if it's a day where she doesn't have school. Mom, I don't know. You found chocolate inside? Mm. What a special day. I don't know, have you ever had a chocolate cake pop before? Mm. Or only pink ones? Mm. I don't remember her ever getting a chocolate one before, but she like saw it on the sign when we were ordering and asked for a chocolate one. Is it good? Yeah, it's chocolate inside. It does, wow. 
Is it so yummy? Yep. Mmm. So anyway, yes, it's already like 1130. So I don't know if we'll end up stopping out for lunch. We might just kind of do like this little snack now with our coffee and treat. Maybe grab another snack later and then maybe instead, maybe we'll just pick up dinner and bring it home. We'll see how long our errands take today. But yes, I was hoping to be out much sooner in the morning. But because I decided to actually take the time and get ready today, I'm not kidding guys, I think today's the first day since like Christmas that I actually blow dried my hair and didn't just let it air dry and I put makeup on, so I like gave myself that time this morning while Lila watched a little show and played in her room. And then by the time we got ready for the day, I got her ready, we had breakfast, which we did have a more substantial breakfast, so if we end up just kind of doing a couple snacks this afternoon instead of like a full-on lunch, it's probably not a big deal. We did like eggs with fruit and English muffins, so we're probably good to go for a while. But by the time we got all that done, it's already after 11, so there you go. We got our Starbucks in, we're gonna have our little treat here and then head over to the bank, and I will probably pick up the camera again and as soon as we get to Nordstrom Rack, that's our first stop to look for some shoes for Lila and maybe we can find some baby clothes for baby Jay. We obviously have things left from when Lila was little, but Lila is a February Chicago baby and baby girl Jansen is a May Atlanta, Georgia baby. So very different seasons. Lila was like born in the middle of a snowstorm and this baby, it very well could be sometimes in May we get to the 90s here in Georgia already. So we'll see, I'm excited to get her a few things I haven't really gotten anything for the baby yet I have not bought a single new outfit she got a couple things from relatives for like Christmas they gave us a couple little gifts like some little outfits and things but they're all for older ages like six to nine months and it's so hard knowing like with Lila we kept hearing because I had gestational diabetes with her our doctors kept telling us over and over and over she's gonna be a big baby she's gonna be a big baby and yes she was born over eight pounds at 37 weeks when I was induced but she lost a good amount of her weight before we left the hospital and it was really slow to gain weight. So this baby that everyone kept telling us was gonna be so big, we didn't even buy any newborn clothes for because we thought she was just gonna skip right into zero to three months. She was in newborn size or should have been in newborn size for at least a month. So a lot of her clothes were like a little too big on her at first and then we ended up having to go out and get some newborn stuff after we brought her home from the hospital. I feel like I never know where to start with babies. Like are they gonna be in newborn sizes? Should I just skip right to zero to three months but then I don't want them to be swimming in their clothes for a month or you know. Anyway. I'm sure we can find some cute things and I'm sure I'll do a haul when we get home so Lila you shopping yeah you see some shoes oh I think those are too big for you so we'll see what they got here at Nordstrom Rack I get her some play shoes these are like the Adidas Grand Courts and they're only 32 here at Nordstrom Rack I feel like anytime I try to buy them like on Amazon or online, they're somewhere between like 45 and $60. So, all right, can we try some on and see which ones fit? All right, come try some shoes on, come sit. You like those? No. Nope. Not these ones? No, nope, not these ones. Put your pussy in there. Okay. What do you think of those ones? Oh, those are cute. I like the purple. So I think we're gonna go with the size 11s. These are 12, they don't have them in an 11, but they're so cute. I might get them just to have them stocked on hand for when she grows to the next size, which will probably be in a couple months. You look so beautiful, very fancy. Oh, so sweet. So cute. You love it? Yeah. Your size is over here. Got some stuff for baby sister. Lila's size is up here. I feel like we're in that spot where there's not really a lot of summer stuff, but she's like set on winter. What? Ooh, it's got sparkles. You get your hydro flasks here. Hydrate. And of course, a dance party in the shoe aisle. A lot of cute Valentine stuff. Do you see something pretty? Some cute sets. 
some perfume, more Hydro flasks in like a pink. That's a cute pillow. Oh, that's cute. Hi, Mom. Hi, Bob. All right, little B is in the stroller. We're gonna head into TJ Maxx Home Goods. This was perfect timing because my mom just called me in the car on our way out over to Aaron's, and she's doing a surprise visit. She's gonna come and stay with us for the long weekend next weekend because Josh has been in and out of town so much and I didn't want to be alone again. So she is gonna come, Gigi's coming. She's gonna give our new guest room that we set up its first visit. So I do still need to get a comforter and like pillow shams, but everything else is set up in the room for the most part. So we're gonna head in and see if we can find a new comforter for the bed. Number one thing I look for whenever I come into a TJ Maxx Home Goods, they have the large sizes of the Batiste, and they're always like the same price as you'd find them at Target for the small ones. Way too easy to get distracted in here. I love coming and looking at the throw pillows. I think for spring and summer, I want to add some pops of yellow into our living room since we have a lot of navy and gray in there right now. I think that would look cute. I always feel like it's January. I can't be decorating for spring yet, but if I wait till late February or March, they'll all be gone. We found the comforter sets. Like that one. Okay, I think I'm between these two. I like that this one has some texture. It's got gray and white, and our sheet set is gray for that bed right now. I do like this mustard color though, and it comes with some um, decorative throws as well. A little bit different. We have warm tones and like the artwork that's in that room. What do you like better? Do you like the yellow or the white? Um, yellow. You like the yellow better? Yep. So I feel like cool. people are moving away from like white and gray everything and having more like homey colors in their home. I don't know guys. I am not like a great decorator when it comes to house stuff. We're still learning. Let me know in the comments which one do you guys like better? One thing I do always like white is guest towels. I just always feel like having fresh white Guest towels helps people feel comfortable and clean. And of course, now the floodgates have opened. <laughs> but now that I know that my mom is coming this weekend, I'm sure we're gonna do some baby girl shopping. So I gotta rein myself in a bit. All the stuff in line always gets me. Look how cute all this Valentine's stuff is. I don't usually decorate for Valentine's Day. Do you guys? Okay guys, we got all of our errands done for now. I have a Target pickup I put in while we were waiting in the cart in between things just to streamline. It's like getting later. It's almost three o'clock. So anyway, I put in a Target pickup order. We'll pick up on the way home and we gotta we're stop at by. The mall. Gotta stop by the store, get something for dinner tonight. But yes, we are at the mall. Lila, what do you want to go do? Mall. Yep, we're popping in to the mall that was right across the street from where we were running errands because they have a play area in here. So, all right, sis, let's roll. Lila got to play at the mall for a bit. Now we just did a quick drive up to Target. Um, I put this order in earlier, so Josh just needed a few things because he has to go out of town again <laughs> for work this week. So I'm not gonna lie guys, it's been, I definitely needed today, like this girl's day, this fun day with Lila where you know we went out for coffee, we got some errands done, did some shopping for both the baby and for our guest room setup. I just needed like a fun chill day. Josh has been working so much the last few weeks. He was out of town, then he just had a crazy work week where he was like gone around the clock and now he's gonna be out of town again for most of this week. So it's been a lot of solo pregnant mom life. Has it been mommy all by herself a lot? Yeah. yeah, we miss daddy, huh? Mm -hmm. But we're at Target, we're just waiting for our pickup order and then we are gonna pick up some dinner because again, it's our relaxation and girls day. I'm not cooking. And then we'll head home. We got our Target stuff. 
I have a ton of stuff in the back. My trunk has stuff in it too. I will do a haul of like the kids stuff and what I got for our guest bedroom after I get Lila down for bed tonight. So Lila babe, should we go pick up some dinner? Yeah. What do you want for dinner? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Mama likes to hear that. I have loved Taco Bell this pregnancy. So we're gonna go pick up some tacos. Josh isn't getting home until late tonight. So I am doing bedtime routine. And then afterwards, after I get this crazy down for bed, she is tired from being out all day. I will run down the hall with you guys. And like not even five minutes from home. Sleeping beauty. Who else's kids are obsessed with Encanto? We thought it was only appropriate to do a little dinner and a movie night since we've been out all day. Got Encanto playing. We are eating our tacos. Lila, how's your taco? What do you think? Beef and tomatoes There's and cheese. Beef and tomatoes and cheese in there? So I got a chicken chalupa and a beef taco as well. So we are gonna eat our little Mexican dinner and watch Encanto, and then I'm gonna get Lila to bed. It was really nice just getting out of the house, having a little fun girls day with my baby. Okay, I finally got little monster to bed. She was so tired after our big day of running errands and playing at the mall. But it was nice just to snuggle up with her and watch a little movie and take some wind down time before getting her to bed. But anyway, let me get into the haul from what we got today on our shopping day. First up, I showed you guys this in the store. Here, I have a little card that shows it a little better. So this is the bedding set I got. And this is actually, I'm in our guest room right now. So I have this like large painting that used to be in like the living room of one of our townhouses before we moved and we've just been kind of recycling it putting it in different places as we've moved a few times i'm kind of over the art piece but i think it fills the space in this room well here i'm gonna stand up and show you guys kind of the room so a bed a little table lamp stand um yeah that's just the closet over there and then on this side it's uh my husband's office so we're still kind of figuring out where we're trying to put everything. Now with new baby coming, we have a nursery corner that we started setting up in our bedroom and I'm making a separate video kind of documenting that process of getting our nursery area and everything set up ready for baby girl. It's just a slow work in progress and I'm only just now 26 weeks, so we have time. So there's a queen bed in here and I'm gonna try this out. I think this will look nice with the photo in there. It's very fall color, but I love this goldenrod color and I just feel like it feels really warm and inviting. Well, sorry guys, I didn't realize that my husband's 3D printer was scanning something he had set up on there in the office and you could hear a weird noise in the background. So I'm sorry for that odd noise in the background of the last clip, but I moved into our master bedroom and now you get to see little Millie girl and see what I mean, bassinet. We're starting to get things where we want them, but little Millie girl so sleepy on the bed. Hi, sweet girl. The original reason of what spurred our uh, shopping spree today, we're getting Lila some new tennis shoes. So I always have loved the Adidas shoes for her. They seem to fit her really well. She's comfortable in them. She's had a number of pairs of them over her very short little four-year-old life. A oh, four-year-old, almost four-year-old. She'll be four in a couple weeks. But anyway, I thought these were so cute. She's actually had this exact pair before, like the pinky purple stripe ones. So she was excited about them. And again, these ones are marked as their original price from Nordstrom as $45. And they were on sale for $32.97 at Nordstrom Rack. So, which is great. I feel like whenever I look for these on Amazon, they're way more expensive than that. But then of course, while I was there, I had to take a peek in the baby section. Look at how sweet. This is like a little romper. So it kind of has some smocking here at the top. It's like a little chambray jean fabric and it's got kind of like bleach out spots on it. I love like little rompers like this. I can just imagine little chunky baby legs. The ties are not adjustable, which is actually good and bad because if it's too big on your baby, you can't adjust it, but at the same time, they can't come undone or be a nuisance or be like a chewing choking hazard either. So that's something I always worry about with stuff like this for teeny tiny babies, but I thought this was so cute. And again, by the time baby girl is born, it is gonna be warm here in Georgia. So I wanted to make sure, I know inside the house, she'll do sleepers a lot and things like that, but in case we take her anywhere as she gets a little bit older. I think that was a zero to three month size. So she'll be able to wear it all throughout the summer. She'll be nice and cool in her bassinet while we go on walks and that kind of thing. And of course you can never have enough onesies for a baby. I thought this one was so sweet with the little flutter sleeve and the little rainbows. So it's just a little short sleeve onesie. This was a great deal. It was only like $5. So 
Nice. Moving on to our little home goods finds, I did pick up a new set of white towels for our guest room. So all fresh linens in the guest room. We're so excited to have guests come and stay and my parents come stay. So excited for my mom to be here this weekend. But these feel so thick and fluffy and soft. Um, let's see, the brand is Common Thread. And these guys were a steal. I think each of the bath towels, I got two bath towels and then these were sets. So a set of hand towels, there's two in there and a set of washcloths, there's two in there. And I think that these were each like $8 a piece for each of the bath towels. The washcloth set was $8 and then the hand towel set was like $10. So that's like an entire towel set for under $50 and they're so soft and cozy. So I feel like that was a great buy. And I also loved that they had this little stitching detail. They're not just plain white. It's kind of, it's hard to see in this light, but it's kind of like a warmy beige tone that's threaded through there. So that'll kind of look nice if I set them somehow with like the gold bedding in the room. I'll figure out a way to like kind of like tuck these in a little basket or something for when guests come. And then I showed you guys this in store. Seriously, this is the number one thing anytime I go into a TJ Maxx Home Goods, I take a peek and see if they have any of the Batiste dry shampoo in stock um, in their hair care aisles. They normally do and they usually carry like the large size bottles that you can't really find in a lot of stores. Sometimes you can find them at Ulta, but I'm telling you at Ulta, a can this size, this one was $8.99. A can this size at Ulta would probably be somewhere between $12 and $14. So I always think it's a steal getting this product there and they usually have it. So yeah, I picked up that. And then finally one more tiny little outfit for baby girl. Look at how, how sweet is this? I have to show this to you guys laying flat. It's a little two-piece set that comes with this sweet little headband bow. This is by Rabbit and Bear Organic. Um, again, I don't know if I've heard of this brand before, but it is so, so soft. I love these little yellow flowers. Apparently, I had a thing for yellow today, guys. I don't know. I mean, I do love yellow. It makes me happy. It's a happy color, right? I love this style of little romper. It's kind of like where it's seamed here and gathered. So it's kind of like a little bubble romper. And then it has the same seaming down here by the legs. Lila had a little outfit like this that was like pink and gray. I think that one had stripes on it, though. And it was honestly one of my favorite outfits that she wore. And she had that one when she was around like 18 months old. I still have it. We will be passing it down to baby Jansen but this was so sweet so again I think this is zero to three months but something like this that's like in a romper even if it's a little oversized I could put this on her even if she's a little small for it yet so this was so sweet and cute okay guys that was my little haul from our girls shopping day out together I had so fun just doing a fun shopping day with Lila she did a really good job in the store and she had a lot of fun she helped me pick out some of the baby clothes I think it's nice getting her excited about baby sister too Lila is almost four so she'll be four when the baby gets here and she completely gets everything that's going on she tells baby sister she can't wait to meet her and that she loves her and kisses my belly every day so I love that she's getting excited and we're involving her in the prep for baby too can't wait for my mom to get here and to get our guest room all finished being set up and it was so nice just getting out of the house for a whole day this isn't something we do that often I'm not really a huge shopper to be honest like I end up letting multiple errands accumulate until I just go for like a whole day kind of like I did today however doing that I am absolutely exhausted I definitely need to just finish putting stuff away hop a shower and go to bed so thank you guys so much for joining us along on our girls fun shopping day hope you had fun following along make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed today's shop with me video hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos including the baby room prep for baby girl Jansen and until next time bye, bye. I never think